Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. It's time for some more Project Zomboid. I have been recording, or thought I was recording for the last, I don't know, seven minutes or so. And I have not been recording. Apparently, I forgot to hit the first start button, or it didn't take or something. Well, anyways, here we are. We've looted a few houses. We found a couple of things, most notably a sledgehammer. We're almost back to the... We've almost looped our way back to to nearby where we're actually living. Which is where we're going to head right now. Back home. Sweet home. It's just right up ahead. I'm trying not to accidentally drive right past it. God knows I've done that before. Yeah, there it is. Also trying really hard not to run into zombies. Extra strain on the car, I don't need. Mm, populations are a little up from where we were before. We might have to do some fighting for our house. It's not too bad. Okay. Safely back home. Buddy coming? No. Drop the junk off. Frozen, frozen. Frozen, frozen, frozen. That is full, so we go up here. It's all of this in here. Or, you know, click the buttons properly and then it'll work. I have some Metal sheets now if I want to uh, try and really defend the home. Although I don't think I have a propane tank now that I think about it, so that probably won't work. Well, we can do it at some point in the future. We need all these water bottles. It's full gas tank away. Charger, salt. Where did the, didn't I, I thought I picked up that 38 special. Did I not pick up that 38? Oh, there it is, yeah. I'll say I have the bullets. Take all of this. Put those away. And put the Trapping for Beginners book on our shelf. Equip this. Alright, so equip this primary. Let's pull these bullets out. Alright, so you're fully loaded now. Six out of six, yes. I guess I'll put that in the other holster. We got guns on both hips. However, don't want to carry all these bullets, so we're just going to drop some off there. Nope, somebody did come home to visit. Hello, trucker hat. We get out of the road. So I have to drive back and forth around here. <laughs> Gonna give me a hand fork, it looks like. Yep. Eh, 
moderately good condition. I'd love to get rid of these zombies. Like, for, like, properly rid of them, not just tossing them aside. Let's dump these corpses off. Yeah, in case you're wondering how I'm just dropping them like that, I'm just, I'm just activating a, one of our weapons. And since it's too big to go in our inventory, it drops it rather than, uh, rather than keeping it in our inventory. And so that is how I'm doing that, in case you're wondering. That's the front yard. There's some zombies in the backyard. I suppose we could get. There's three, yeah. Um, no, don't dig a grave. Grab a corpse. It's late enough in the day that I don't really want to go anywhere, so this is what we're doing instead. Oop. I'm thinking about trying to burn a bunch of zombies. That is going to be a little tricky if we try and do it, though. And we need to make sure the car has full gasoline if we're going to do it, because we're going to be driving around for a while. Alright, last but not least. In the wrong button. I if this... We need to check on this bandage and see if this wound is healed. Still just stitched, okay. I wonder if, actually, do I have to remove the stitches? I have trouble remembering. This happens so, to me so rarely, I sometimes I forget how this works. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a scratch now, so. Let's eat some food. Where's my let's put in container? Where's my can opener? Did I drop my can opener off somewhere by accident? <laughs> and if so, where? Oh, I already had a sledgehammer. I didn't know that. Also, these could be put in a box. Can opener. There you go. Make a beans bowl. I need to smoke a cigarette. I guess cook this beans bowl. Because it's not any good uncooked. I think it cooks real fast, if I remember correctly. Yeah, just get right all up in that bowl. I wonder if I had a spoon in my inventory if you would use the spoon. I think the game is that advanced. Alright, we're just gonna go up, sit in our room, read our book, and then go to bed. Um, actually, I wanna put all the lawn all the clothes in the laundry. Hopefully we don't get attacked in the middle of the night, because I'm going to be naked. Oh, 
I'll hold on to our belts, actually. They don't get dirty, so there's no reason to no reason to do that. Alright, we're sleeping there. Clean ourselves up. Oh, steez. <laughs> Excuse me. Just read this book. Ain't go to bed yet. It's way too early. Even though he is very, very tired. Some water. Uh, we have an extra water bottle. Once we're done, when we're ready to go to bed, I'll take that water bottle out. We can have a sip. We're close enough. I might just actually push him all the way through to the end of this book. Yeah, we're gonna just force him to finish this book. He's only got 10 pages left. All right. We are going to unpack this water bottle. Drink from it. Ditch this book and go to Sleepy Lands. We'll check the TV again in the morning, but I'm pretty sure we're done with the TVs. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Oh, there's a zombie right outside. Please get fast, get dressed faster than that thing and break the window. I'll come back for the t shirt. There's a bunch of you around. Excuse me, zombie. There you go. I just got this yard clean. Do you have any respect? On their way. Alright, okay. Okay, I'm make me use actual materials here. More corpses in my yard. Do you mind coming with me? Just join this pile right here. I got stuck on the fence. If we wanted to repair this thing, wood glue, carpentry, I have the carpentry skill for it. So let's, let's see, I think I have wood glue. I would very much like to not lose this if we can avoid it. I do have two more, but also all of low condition. Maybe I don't have wood glue. Oh, yeah. Significant, but not amazing repairs. Mm, 
let's hit it again. Yeah, it was not that much. Probably a waste. Right, let me get my t-shirt. We're gonna manage to put the t-shirt on through all of our other clothes. Ooh, magic. <laughs> Half a box of cereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to smoke? All right. So if I wanted to make, if I wanted to do a fire situation. What I have to do is I need to figure out, I need a way to, to get light the zombies on fire, which I don't currently have. I mean, I have a lighter, but I don't have the other things. Also, I need water. Forgot about that. Need to make a fire kit. It's kind of was what I was trying to say there. We need a fire kit. In order to make a fire kit, I need three planks or two logs. It's probably three planks at one of the houses around here. Considering uh, people have been busy destroying do doors and windows. I suppose I could destroy doors and windows as well. Hey, I'll do that. Hammer saw. I have a hammer. I dropped off my saw. All right, so I can't do that. Where am I going to find destroyed stuff? Hey, you. What are you doing? Come here. I think this house was getting torn up a little bit a while back, so maybe there some broken doors. Those zombies. I want somebody to make the the boards for me. <laughs> I don't have to do it myself. I thought I thought that zombie had something stuck through its chest. I was like, <gasps> katana. Oh, Oops, siphon gas. That one's got gas in it. Let's get that key and see what how what uh, car it goes to. Ladies, ladies, please. Enough for me to go around. No need to fight. No need to get grabby. Not really fighting. I mean, they're fighting me, I guess. Right, 
You the one that I have the key to? Yes. Ooh, candy. Oh, and you actually have a little bit of gas. Back to that in a second. Alright, give me your gasoline. Do you, oh, you have add, it says add gasoline, so there's no gas in you. It's a good way from a distance to check if you have if there's gas in a car is if you have a gas can in your inventory, you can just click on it, see if it says siphon gas. For candy. Nice. Oh, controller. All right, I'm gonna just put this car, I'm just gonna move it a little bit. We're gonna use it as a beginning of a car gate. Not a star gate, mind you, a car gate. There we go. Beginning of a car thing. I suppose I should take the gas out of it now. So I don't want it to go anywhere. I don't know why I'm killing these zombies other than just I find it fun. There, you give me your gasoline. So there are three vehicles that we're not really interested in using. One of them is this guy, it's the black car. So I'm gonna move that, and then the other one is that is the uh, station wagon. Oh wait, you already have gas in you? It said siphon, so I guess so. Ooh, noisy. Excuse me, sir, you're in my way. Hey, did you bring me a knife? Oh, it's just a bread knife. That's disappointing. I see you, Daphne. My dog has come to cry at me. I will deal with you in a moment. Almost done with this for the peoples. Alright, this thing also has... Already has gas in it. Don't hit the... Don't hit the house. Also, don't hit the fire truck. So I need this. I need this to in, to impact both vehicles, basically. <laughs> so I can pull this off here. Oh, 
Hello, zombie. Alright, so clearly I didn't get it. This zombie is actually kind of helping me tell whether or not I have it where I need it to be. <laughs> he just walked around it. So maybe, actually, this car might be easier to move now. So let's get this guy. So we can't... Can we get through here? Yes. Alright, so that's no good. Just back straight into this thing. Alright, that's as far back as I can go that way. So if I try to push through back here, I can't. Just need just need enough to get the thing going. Come on. There we go. That'll work. It's not pretty, but it should work. So now I can't go, can't go that way. Can't go this way. I can't go this way. Yeah, we're done, we're good. So that's gated off. Now like I mentioned uh, previously, that doesn't count as far as zombie respawn goes, that does not count as being sealed off. But uh, I'm gonna stop here for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.